did you know that if you buy a house with someone that you're not married to and each of you have your name on the deed to the house even though you've paid for the house when you die or whenever the other person dies that you can be forced to sell that house my name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney in San Antonio Texas and if you are not married to the person that you co-own the house with, there are a few ways to avoid this. One, have a will. In your will, you can name whoever you want to as the beneficiary. And so the person you live with can name you as the sole beneficiary of the house once they pass away. Two, they could do a transfer on death deed. And that deed says as soon as they die that you own the house in its entirety. But if he does neither of these, when he dies, his half of the house goes to his legal heirs, his blood relatives, either his children or his parents or his siblings or his cousins, could be distant cousins he hasn't even ever met. But if they are legally his heirs, they're entitled to half of the house and they cannot be forced to continue to own that house with you if they file a suit to partition you will be ordered to sell the house so that you can give them their half of the money